congratulations nancy on getting a wonderful offer from microsoft and now finally you are a microsoft software engineer i know uh, since you were in tcs and you wanted to crack a fang company a top level product based company and it is really wonderful to see how you have made your progress and how you have prepared so how do you feel after getting such a enormous wonderful offer hey surya firstly thank you for having me so yeah, it feels great it still feels like a dream come true to me like when i was in tcs like from college only like it was my dream to go in microsoft like i always want to go into microsoft any particular reason why microsoft was your dream job and not anything else specifically but yeah i like the culture here so i have a lot of seniors that are working here so i always heard good things about the company the culture and the people overall i like the company and i saw a lot of gifts that they send to people so <laughs> yeah. yes yes yeah. yes that i can make out because uh, the pay scale according to the work culture is pretty good so you get a good value for money and also you get good safety as well right since yeah. it is one of the top companies can you please uh, explain for our viewers like what was your preparation strategy how did you uh, actually start thinking about your dream job and uh, till the time you actually achieved it and now you are living it sure so like when i was in tcs i was enjoying my life there like uh, there also so by god's grace i got a good project like i was working as a back end developer and everything seems fine yeah financially it was not that great but uh-huh. yeah like work wise in other prospects it was good so yes. then covid happened and i like, come back to my home then recently like on social media it's a boom right everywhere uh-huh. i am seeing a lot of podcasts that is coming up and everyone is doing the sweat and everyone is yeah. going to good good company so i was like okay if they can yes. do it i can also do it then i start looking at the podcast and all the live sessions that are happening in the i started to read the interview experiences what these companies ask for and all of that so at that time like i had two options like uh, so i was as i was working as a backend developer so i can go through these types of companies like development oriented companies who basically focuses on um, the work that i did right other is this type of company so basically focuses on dsa system design and all these things so yeah. um i already spend a lot of time there like in dsa so i want a early switch and i know like i was not that good in dsa at that time so i uh, knew at that time if i want to go with this like in microsoft in these type of companies i have to spend much more time like around a year so at yes. that time i thought to give interviews in these type of companies which are development oriented so uh-huh. i prepared my resume and i start uh, my journey uh, in this type of companies uh-huh. then i got into volkswagen so there also i had a good experience but when i went there also the one thing that was in my mind is to prepare for these type of companies and to get here then i start looking ki okay what to do how to do what next so i was also preparing by myself but i was not that consistent in my journey i need some structure like i need something yes. which i follow on daily basis i yes i am consistent about so okay. then i had a chance to talk to you and i feel like it's what that i want to do so then i joined your course and it was like helpful for me so yeah i got some structure i get to know okay these are the things that i need to do i did a lot of self study also it's not like ki i just totally depend on the course but yeah it helped me in lot of cases and then after lot lot, lot of rejections lot of suffering i finally made it there <laughs> yes 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 that i can make it so what are uh, some of the specific key points uh, which were uh, like extremely helpful for you which we provided in our course so i would say i get consistent so basically like we have whenever we have the session we get some work to do right after the session so i make sure to do the questions that you provided or make sure to re like rewatch the video that you taught yeah. right so mm-hmm. i make notes by myself and i try to solve the questions and i ask a lot of questions like mm. in the sessions also so that yeah. helps me to solve my doubt instantly and it gives yeah. me a structure basically like i got to know what i exactly have to do so that is a point for me that helped me and yeah i got a lot of peers also with me like 
the same kind of people who are preparing for those type of companies so i get a chance to talk to them also so we have a competition in ourselves okay let's do these questions and all so that also helps me a lot but yeah so if we get connected to the same type of people so it really helps a lot and we get to know okay so this company is hiring in this company is hiring so all together we are applying yeah. so yes. it's a good competitive environment in a healthy way so, yeah, i mean it's, it's really wonderful when you can compare your progress with others uh just not to be over confident as well because sometimes people get that they know everything and maybe they are yeah. moving pretty well or maybe even uh, not get too demotivated feeling that you are the only one who is not able to do it but then you will see hundreds others not able to do it as well right so true, it takes true. a lot of effort a lot of tries as well if you are lucky you get it in the first go second go but uh, everyone is not lucky even they may they may have uh, good knowledge right but anyway I, but if it is ending well then everything has gone well to be frank right yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, can you uh, can you please put some light on the interview experience round wise uh, what you faced for the interview at microsoft sure so uh, total i have one uh, online round and apart from that there are total four rounds the two yeah. are mostly on dsa one is specifically system design kind of round and one is the hiring manager round uh-huh. so the online test is also consist of like was also consist of two dsa questions that we need to do they have the own platform called called codeility so the test is uh, on that only yeah. um That's after clearing the test i got the call from the hr ki i made it to the interview then after some days like my interview got scheduled so the first round is basically on dsa so the question i guess it's from trees only i think it's medium hard level questions and there is some follow up question on that also after that on the second round it's a mix for me like a dsa plus system design so dsa uh, question i think it's on string uh, it's a medium a uh, hard question so some follow up question on that and some uh, system design so basically kind of a scenario based type of questions that they ask me yeah yes. in the third is uh, similar like system design kind of round which basically they ask me some low level kind of questions and some um, high level type of questions not exactly the whole like they ask me to design the whole architecture but they ask me the scenario yeah. based question and some are related to behavioral also in that round also i can say and the yeah. last round was hiring manager round so there was a manager so he was checking all together like whether this person is able to fit in their team or not right so mm. they will check you overall like how are you as an individual so they will give you the scenario what will you do in this type of situation and all they will check you technically and on other aspects as well Uh, one thing that i want to say in some teams uh in microsoft only so like at the time when i was giving the interview so the two rounds are mandatory and the result of those two rounds will decide whether you go ahead or not okay so it's not like that if uh, first round is not very well then you will not able to give the second round so the mm. two rounds the first yeah. two rounds were mandatory and on the basis of that they will like tell you whether you will yeah. go ahead or not Yeah. basically your interview had two blocks first block second block if you do well yeah, you can... really good in the first block you move to the second block simple and yeah. uh, i think i think how you have moved from tcs to uh, microsoft is not uh, just planning for a single switch to your dream company but then you had planned it as a step wise process because in the middle you realized that getting a single jump and uh, this much of a jump is like extremely difficult and extremely rare as well In, and yeah. it takes some preparation time a lot of preparation time to be frank because if you are in a service based uh, company like tcs and from there you want to jump there and uh, it requires a lot of preparation so meanwhile True. why do you earn less let's be at a product based company let's make that switch first 2x 3x whatever so you made that to foxwagon and from there it it provided you a platform now and also gave yeah. you some confidence again some study time you can again learn the tech stack there again you can have one more year and again make the switch because once you are at a top company you cannot generally come down right you will yeah. be there one thing level. yeah one thing i want to add is so there are a lot of my friends who directly made it to these companies from tcs so it's not like that if you are in this type of company you cannot make it that way but in my case i had my own problems like it was yeah. difficult for me to make a switch directly from there 
Yeah. So I chose this path for myself, but it's yeah. up to the individuals how they can go yeah. ahead. But I will yeah. say, uh, like you can obviously try, but yeah, if that like cannot happen, then you can obviously take a mid uh, way for that. You can. Yes. Uh, so it will give you two or three benefits. I can say one is like you get a mid hike also, right? Yeah. So yes. the next hike will be on this, right? Yeah. And you Thank will you get, yeah. yeah. So you will also get. some knowledge uh, regarding like cultural knowledge like how product based companies uh, work so mm-hmm. there is a difference between the service based company and product based yeah. company like the working style and everything it's a bit different yeah. yes and yeah your resume also looks good yeah, then i think i think uh, this is really important for people to realize some people just think that if you don't get a fang then uh, it doesn't make sense and uh, why it, not do it now and they actually yeah. are not able to a uh, see their own problem like everyone has different potential current True. potential and their form uh, i mean whatever they know so somebody who is already good they may also have been at tcs right but then yeah. they can make the switch directly because they are already well prepared and they do, they do not need that, that much of time probably and uh, another yeah. type of people like who realized it late and they need mm-hmm. some preparation time because a lot of things needs to be prepared so yeah. i think a step by step process is also a very good one which you took and you realized your own uh, i mean your own self which is i, I think now what is lacking in the many of the professionals as well as uh, students which i see so yeah. i think uh, this is a this is a great journey and a great experience uh, and what would you like to suggest to somebody uh, who is a working professional and maybe want to do this uh, dream job switch how uh, should they prepare for it i was also working professional at that time when i made my decision to switch right so what i did was like i strategized my time accordingly so what i used to do like my office generally start from 9 or 10 ish so what i used to do um, i woke up one hour early from the time like when I, my office got started so i like it was covid time so that was a help for me like i was doing permanent work from home so i do not need to do any household work right so that was a plus point for me so i woke up one hour early i do one or two question in the morning then i do my office work and all and if i get one hour uh, time in between also so i just read some of the article or some of the maybe from gfg or maybe from an, any other platform i just read one article or see some youtube video or anything like that and then after so i make sure like to log up early like i just spend like 9 hours in my office and after that i was like hey now it's done for the day then i start my journey again so what i used to do i just take one hour gap uh, like one hour so i used to go to work with my mom and just took something for myself like make me happy and all and then i again started to like study and from maybe if i logged off at 6 so i took a break around 7 and uh eight and i do my dinner and then from maybe 9 to 1 in the night so these 5 6 hours is for me so i just do the study for my business i think uh, taking out time for yourself is also important because people yeah. don't realize that when they are in the total mood then they actually go all out and uh, don't spend any any time for themselves right so no. and, and even with some people keep working for the company and uh, they extend the time so much and i think if you if you are not able to satisfy your manager with the 10 hours of work you cannot do it with 12 hours of work to be frank right so mm-hmm. you have to manage it well and also uh, get started with the preparation and i think uh, getting stuck to a curriculum and uh, moving with the process solving the homework can actually lead you to a destination without you having to plan how i will be moving right instead of yeah. that you just focus on what i have to study that's it right so thank you for uh, sharing your valuable knowledge with us and uh, your valuable experience i would like to announce about our live training programs data structures and algorithms which is interview dos and system design which is design dos if you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company this is the best curriculum you can ever join i'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and i will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions you can know more about this by querying us on the whatsapp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in so we would love to see you succeed even further in life and uh, 
we wish you all the best from our tech dose team thank you thank you thank you so much for having me it was nice talking to you as well